he could have told me he was Santa Claus at that point, I probably would have believed him. He was so smooth. He was really good. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times cheaters face justice. Commissioner would have known. His co workers would have known. The owners would have known. The players would have known. For this list, we'll be looking at fraudulent folk that broke the system in sports, quiz shows, or other areas. Then, they got a dose of beautiful karma with the strong arm of the law hammering down. Which cheater's punishment do you think was justified? Let us know below. Number 10 Tim Donaghy, 2008. Usually, sports referees are seen as an authority of integrity. Well, NBA veteran Tim Donaghy must have missed that lesson at basketball officiating school. In 2007, news leaked that Donaghy was being investigated for betting on the games he had worked on, with accusations that he manipulated the point spread. Obviously, there's always going to be disagreement with calls, but the integrity of the game can't come back. He apparently worked closely with two high school friends in this conspiracy. That same year, Donaghy pleaded guilty to providing others with inside tips in exchange for cash if the advice was successful. In 23 of the 30 games that were competitive, Donaghy's calls favored the team that his partners had wagered on. That's 77%. In only three games did his calls go against their team. The calls were even in the other four games. For his troubles, he was fined $530,000 in total. Then, in 2008, Donaghy was sentenced to prison for 15 months. He was released in 2009. You know, I think I'd be lying if I said I wish I wasn't still running up and down the floor with the greatest athletes in the world. And a lot of these guys that I officiated with, I felt like they were great friends. And it's difficult knowing that it's something I kind of threw away. Number 9. Kerry D. Ketchum, 1988. For four days in 1987, Patrick Quinn was on a roll on the quiz show Super Password, so much so that he netted himself a record-setting $56,000. While the audience enjoyed seeing someone winning some cash, one person did not. Instead, they realized that Quinn wasn't who he said he was. Watching Password at home, a viewer in Anchorage, Alaska recognized the scruffy-faced contestant as a fugitive in a credit card fraud case and called the authorities. In fact, his real name was Kerry D. Ketchum, and he used the name of his college professor. So he was arrested when he went to pick up his game show winnings. He felt uh, that he was wearing a disguise with uh, possibly, you know, being disguised enough that uh, he could get away with it. Perhaps got a little too cocky for his own good? Probably. Wanted in three U.S. states, Ketchum had fraudulently filed a $100,000 life insurance policy on his ex-wife, who was alive and well and knew nothing about the scam. In 1988, Ketchum got five years in prison for his deception. He could have told me he was Santa Claus at that point. I probably would have believed him. He was so smooth. He was really good. Number 8. Bihar School Examination Board, 2016 in 2016, the Indian state of Bihar celebrated exam results. As such, Ruby Rai, the arts and humanities topper, was interviewed by the press along with science topper Saurabh Shreshta. But then, it all fell apart. During questioning, Rai began mispronouncing political science to prodigal science. Prodigal science. Prodigal science. Uh -huh. She then claimed the subject dealt with cooking. It did not. While Shreshta didn't know what electrons or protons were, this caused an investigation to launch. Authorities discovered that corruption had run riot in the Bihar School Examination Board. They had manipulated the results of some kids in exchange for cash. In the retest, most of the kids failed. Rai was sentenced to two weeks in prison, while numerous board members also got jail terms. Number 7. Marion Jones 2008. After her performance at the 2000 Summer Olympics, Marion Jones was one of the most celebrated U.S. athletes after collecting three golds and two bronze medals. But a few years later, that legacy was tarnished. After the Balco scandal erupted, Jones's results were called into question as people close to her were implicated in the doping controversy. They even pointed the finger at the athlete's involvement. However, she denied the allegations. I have never, ever 
failed a drug test. But in 2007, Jones admitted her guilt about using steroids and that she lied during the investigation. I have let my country down and I have let myself down. As a result, all her medals and records after 2000 were stripped from her. In 2008, Jones was sentenced to prison for six months. You've gone from $80,000 a race. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is per inch, but it's a lot, right? <laughs> and then suddenly you're in this tiny cell. You're a felon. Number six, Carlos Artur Newsman, 2021. The 2010s was an important decade for sports in Brazil, as not only did they host the 2014 FIFA World Cup, but also the 2016 Olympic Games. However, the latter was soon tainted in a corruption conspiracy. Carlos Artur Newsman was the president of the Brazilian Olympic Committee, as well as chair and president of the organizing committee of the Olympic and Paralympic Games Rio 2016. But in 2017, it all fell apart when he was accused of buying votes for the Olympic Games to be held in Rio de Janeiro as part of Operation Car Wash. Investigators allege Newsman acted as an intermediary in an alleged $2 million payment to Papa Masata Diak, the son of an influential Senegalese member of the International Olympic Committee. In 2021, Newsman was sentenced to 30 years and 11 months for corruption, tax evasion, organized crime, and money laundering. Number 5. Herb Stempel, 1960. I never have spoken. I shook his hand. I never spoke to the man in my life. I never spoke to him. People find this hard to believe. In 1956, Herb Stemple took his talents onto the game show 21 and raked up a long winning streak. However, he later claims that producer Dan Enright coached him. When the show wanted to boost ratings with a new champion in Charles Van Doren, they scripted Stemple's loss. If either of you want to stop the game, you must tell me so right now. I'll stop. Then you'll win $20,000. Congratulations. Along with similar incidents taking place in The Big Surprise and Dotto, this eventually led to a grand jury inquiry, resulting in several suspended sentences for those that pleaded guilty. In 1959, an investigation by the House Subcommittee on Legislative Oversight took place. Van Doren, who originally denied the allegations, admitted the truth and lost his job at NBC in the process. Eventually, an anguished Charles Van Doren, one producer and 17 other contestants, Contestants were formally charged, arrested, and convicted of lying under oath to the New York grand jury. All pleaded guilty. All received suspended sentences. In 1960, the Communications Act was amended to prohibit similar shenanigans from happening again. Number 4. Felicity Huffman, 2019 Typically, parents want their kids to get the best in life, but breaking the law to achieve that is not a great idea. In 2019, the college admissions scam was discovered, and one of the main offenders was Desperate Housewives actor Felicity Huffman. The previous year, she had made a $15,000 charity donation. However, investigators claimed this was a payment to have her daughter's SAT results boosted. Her husband, William H. Macy, is mentioned in the indictment, but is not charged. Investigators say Huffman arranged for a third party to purport to proctor their daughter's SAT and secretly correct her answers. Huffman later pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit mail fraud. She was sentenced to 14 days in prison, one year of supervised release, 250 hours of community service, and fined $30,000. In sentencing Huffman to 14 days in prison and a $30,000 fine, the judge saying, despite Huffman taking responsibility, the outrage isn't the harm to the colleges. The outrage is a system that is already so distorted by money and privilege in the first place. Another celeb involved in the scam was Full House icon Lori Loughlin. She received a two-month sentence and was fined $150,000. Um, I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Number 3. Chicken Drumstick, 2021 with the amazing operation name of Chicken Drumstick, it doesn't sound like it would be the title of a multi-million dollar criminal conspiracy, but here we are. 
Given this name by the police, but originally called Sharpshooter, then Sheet Ninja, a raid took place on a video game cheating ring in 2021. With the help of game company Tencent, Chinese authorities seized $46 million in assets from the group and arrested 10 members. Reportedly, the criminal empire was raking in around $76 million for creating codes for games like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty with subscribers paying up to $200 per month for a swindling service. Number 2. Lance Armstrong, 2012 With Lance Armstrong leading the helm and collecting seven consecutive Tour de France wins, the sport of cycling was seemingly growing more and more popular. Is there any stopping Lance Armstrong in this Tour de France? And the answer is no. After all, his heroic story of surviving cancer to become a trophy-collecting machine was inspiring. But then, 2012 happened. After several years of doping allegations, the United States Anti-Doping Agency had enough evidence to charge Armstrong. Since he didn't appeal the charges, he was stripped of all his titles after 1998 and banned from the sport for life. UCI will ban Lance Armstrong from cycling and UCI will strip him of his seven Tour de France titles. Lance Armstrong has no place in cycling. In 2013, Armstrong admitted his guilt in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Yes or no, did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Afterward, he faced a $100 million civil lawsuit from the U.S. government and Floyd Landis, which was settled for $5 million. If you take me back to 1995, when it was completely and totally pervasive, Probably do it again. People won't like to hear that. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Charles Ingram, 2003. In September 2001, Major Charles Ingram took on the challenge of the UK's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Amazingly, he went all the way and became the third person to win one million pounds on the show. You just won one million! <laughs> However, something was amiss. He regularly changed his mind on answers at the last second, and there seemed to be coughing in the audience during certain questions, potentially influencing Ingram. <coughs> in 2003, he, his wife Diana, and another contestant, Tequin Wittick, were convicted of conspiracy to cheat the quiz show. The plan was that Wittick would signal correct answers with a cough. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a whole Ryan. Each was given suspended prison sentences and received fines. Ingram was later forced to resign from the British Army. The couple, who are adamant they did no wrong, has appealed the conviction several times, but with limited success. Fraudulently, fraudulently, fraudulently. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.